in the Turkish city of Tokat three men arranged to meet who they believed were potential buyers of the ancient item they had in their hands the trio surely must have been talking about its phenomenal value and exactly what they wanted in return for it however before long three men were in handcuffs busted for smuggling Tokat is a city that's located in the northern central area of Turkey around 250 miles from the country's capital Ankara The area is a historical and cultural gem of a place that provides a glimpse into past lives in this region of Anatolia Tokat contains various ancient sites and historical buildings of great importance such as the 12th century Garipler mosque most of these landmarks date from the Ilkhanate Seljuk and Ottoman eras going back as far as the 10th century AD Today, it's a popular tourist destination with a population of over 130,000 people And while the city may well be known for being important both historically and culturally More recently it's attained notoriety for a far less pleasant reason in fact Tokat has gained something of a reputation as a hub for smugglers significantly in early 2015 Anti-smuggling police discovered an old painting completed in oils during a vehicle search in the city But this wasn't just any old oil picture being transported in a somewhat suspicious way In fact the piece was believed to be the work of a globally respected master artist one Vincent van Gogh the work orphan man standing included one determining feature a legend bearing the Dutch genius name was found on the paintings reverse side There was also a stamp from the New York Metropolitan Museum on the reverse of the item as well as reference to the state art collection of Germany located in Berlin All of this means that once the painting was taken to the Tokat Gazios Manpasa University for assessment It was deemed to be the real thing Later that same year police managed to uncover even more important artifacts in another undercover sting the police successfully recovered the antiquities after a number of actions designed to capture these suspected smugglers The authorities swooped in after being tipped off about a trio of suspected criminals trying to offload their stolen goods In total the police arrested and detained a group of ten would-be smugglers But the items the police discovered would have surely left them astonished the police also recorded jewelry and over 50 historic coins of varying shapes and sizes during the operations But it was another item from the hall which was really of deep historical significance That item is a Bible that could be as much as 1,000 years old and while the cover of the book has some damage many of the remaining 50 odd pages is in pretty good condition if you bear in mind how old the artifact actually is that's impressive stuff However, the tome has clear discoloration and shows signs of decay on the outside But inside many of the pages reveal beautiful if faded imagery Religious symbols and pictures are visible many made with delicate sheets of gold a Video of the artifact produced by Turkish Anadolu agency shows that the ancient tome contains one clear image of a cross another illustration appears to be a mother perhaps Mary cradling a child close to her face In addition images could depict Jesus Christ and other figures from Christianity also featured in the tome Despite its age from the video we can see that all the images appear on one side of the book while the text only appears on the other Moreover the entire book is in the ancient language of the Assyrians While popular at the time this speech system has been out of use for millennia However, while the exact origins of the book are unknown the mysterious tome looks set to play an important role in history That's because it could provide vital clues about Christianity More specifically it could increase our understanding of how the religion developed during its early history Beginning during the first century AD Christianity spread fast through the classical world meaning the ancient Greeks and Romans Indeed the Assyrians alongside the Romans and Greeks were some of the first cultures in the world to become Christian It's thought that this move to a new religion took place around the first and third centuries AD So perhaps this Bible may offer some idea 
as to when exactly the Assyrians became Christians and while the fate or origin of the captured smugglers is unknown it could be that the trio were in fact connected to the Islamic State in fact in 2015 Iraq's deputy antiquities minister Kais Hussein Rashid told the Washington Post that the militant group steals everything that they can sell and what they can't sell they destroy we've noticed that the smuggling of antiquities has greatly increased since they arrived in Iraq in 2014 alongside Israel and Kuwait Turkey is a transit hub for smugglers and antiques often end up there after removal from Iraq so maybe the holy book arrived in Tokat the same way hopefully further study of the ancient tome may answer this question and also offer up further clues about Christianity's history check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button thank you for watching